you and your family safe. This is Two Works For You Weather, certified most accurate. All right, welcome back. The time is 947. We're going to start you off with the two-week outlook. This is for September 17th through September 23rd. First thing we'll look at are the temperatures. It does look like that this trend, which we've seen of the cooler than normal weather, it does look like that is going to continue. So expecting cooler than normal to normal temperatures. So what this means on most days, we will see highs comfortable between 75 and 88. As far as the low temperatures at night, now our nighttime temperatures, we usually see a larger range of temperatures in green country, likely see readings in the 50s and the 60s. As far as the rain, it doesn't look like we're going to see substantial rain chances. It looks like the highest chances for rain during this period would be closer to the 17th instead of later in the period, so mainly dry. And also with the slightly cooler than normal temperatures, we're going to see a north wind across our area. This morning, sunshine, a beautiful morning across green country, 67 degrees, light west wind near 6 miles per hour. The rest of green country, 70 showing up, especially out toward the west. Warmer air moving into Osage County and Sky Took and Pawnee, east of Tulsa, upper 60s into Pryor, Grand Lake and Veneta, Okmulgee at 67, Bristow at 72. As far as the rest of the region, nothing overly surprising across the weather map. Now, notice the weather up to our north north is not much cooler than what we're seeing here. We've had the north wind, but this is why we're not seeing overly cool temperatures during the afternoon. The air to our north is simply not that cool. So despite the north and northwest flow across our region, temperatures are still reaching well toward the 80s for this afternoon. As far as our rain chances, we're watching an area of low pressure, which is centered near St. Louis in Missouri. We're on the back side of the low, which means the circulation around it is going to be coming from the northwest. So if you do get any rain today, it would be moving in from the north. It would be moving in from Kansas. However, the rain is not going to last very long. Sort of a scattering of showers, and right now there's nothing immediately threatening green country. As far as temperatures this afternoon, we'll see highs reaching toward the mid-80s, and you can see the cooler weather to our north. Quite pleasant temperatures toward Kansas City, where we'll see highs toward 77 toward Kansas City, 76 in Branson. Warmer weather, especially toward the drier air toward the west and southwest. We'll see temperatures in the 90s down toward southern Oklahoma and Wichita Falls. We'll gradually see those 90s moving into our area the next few days. The temperatures tonight will be similar to what we saw this morning with upper 50s and lower 60s for lows cooler north and northeast. Partly cloudy this afternoon. Should be a nice day. Low to mid 80s for highs. Not much wind. Northwest wind to 5 to 10 miles per hour. You can see the cooler weather north and northeast. Highs in the upper 70s toward Joplin. 81 toward Grand Lake. 83 in Bartlesville. Bless you, Aaron. 82 in Coffeeville. She has allergies. 85 in Bristow and 85 in Oak Mulgee. As far as tonight, we'll see a low temperature of 60 degrees with a north wind at 5 miles per hour. The rest of green country, mid 50s for lows, generally cooler toward the north and northeast. Should be another very pleasant evening tonight as well as tomorrow morning. And as, as far as what we do have of the rain chances, this map showing us higher chances for rain north and northeast, lower rain chances toward the southwest and south. Seven day forecast, slow warming trend the next few days, back into the 90s on Monday. This warm-up is out ahead of the next cold front, which will bring us much cooler weather toward late Tuesday and Wednesday. The main cooling with this front arriving Thursday. We'll see a north wind a bit breezy for Wednesday and Thursday. A few showers will be possible. Highs in the 70s, lows down into the 50s, so running cooler than normal. We've also been looking at your pictures of how your pets have stayed cool this summer. I've never seen a cat like water until now. I know. That's not very often you see that at all. Lisa Cook sends us a picture of Bobo in the swimming pool. Another probably not so decent picture for television. <laughs> <laughs> this is Elle, a dog adopted in Muskogee. Kim Nelson sitting in that picture. And you still aren't scared by these pictures, Erin? No, no, no. The They're possum so definitely doesn't get me. Really? I mean, her name's Priscilla. Mm -hmm. How scary can that be? This one doesn't <laughs> scare you either? No, it's just kind of gross. All right, I'll try to find some other critters to scare you with and encourage right. our viewers to Sounds send in good. those pictures. <laughs> Thank you, George. <laughs> Here's a look now. What's coming up tonight on Channel 2.